Hi, I'm Lee Tushler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Alex Lidow from EPC. And what we have behind us is a wirelessly powered TV. Not a wirelessly charged TV, but a wirelessly powered TV. Um, Alex, tell us what you did to uh, make this thing work without wires. So, you know, EPC is dedicated to getting rid of power cords. I don't know anybody that likes a power cord. We showed you earlier the desk where everything was wirelessly powered. My desk uh, is, is going to look like that soon, I hope, because I have too many power cords. But one of the things that we have in our homes is a TV that receives all the signals wirelessly now if you get a modern one, except for that power cord. Well, using that same technology, this, this TV is absolutely wirelessly powered through the wall. And in order to illustrate that, we have a piece of uh, wall board, the transmitter's on one side, the TV's on the other and it really adds no cost to the TV. You just need to put this new antenna behind your walls. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, how much power does a typical TV really consume these days? Well, this is 125 watts. And that's easily within the, the realm of uh, wireless power. We can do any amount of power. With our new antenna system, it's just a matter of, of what amplifier you put on there and how much power uh, you want to deliver. How much power do you think a uh, typical home installation of this might be able to handle. So the desk that we showed you earlier, it was uh, 165 watts and it powered everything on a desk and you know the desk just plugs into the wall. For a home, if you have home appliances, some of those are two, three hundred watts, no problem. You could have your kitchen table completely wirelessly powered for a kilowatt if you wanted to. That's interesting. Now you, you guys actually developed the uh, power circuits for this using your technology. Can you talk a little bit about that? So all of these work with the air fuel standard at 6.78 megahertz, and that's a little bit too high for, for silicon. So all of our gallium nitride integrated circuits and transistors are perfect for this kind of a uh, frequency, and also for all the variations in load that cause that to, to go off resonance. And if you know what I mean by that, when a transistor goes off resonance, it starts hard switching. And that's really hard to do unless you have a very, very fast transistor like a gallium nitride transistor. Uh, that's interesting technology, Alex. Thank you.